So let's go ahead and review the Inkling app for the iPad. As you open up the app, you'll see a classic bookshelf, so to speak, which lists all the textbooks you have available within that application. Let's look at the biology text. And when you get into the text, you'll see that on the left-hand side is a list of all the chapters that are available for that text. And when you pick a chapter, you'll see that the corresponding menu on the right-hand side changes to each section within that chapter. Let's go ahead and pick a section here and go through some of the features of the Inkling app. Now the diagrams, you can see, are listed within the text, not as separate callouts. But if you want to enlarge a diagram and look at it in more detail, a couple ways to get there. You can simply double-click or click on the icon, and the figure will open up in its entirety. And you can then zoom in to view the figures in detail. You can also go back and within the text where the figure is referenced you can click on the title here for figure 10.1. It'll pull up the same figure. You can enlarge it again to look at the diagram. You'll also see within the text there are certain areas where the word is bolded and an icon is right next to that there. If you click on that it'll give you a simple definition of the term that you're looking at. Also, there's other hot links within the text, so if it references a different section, if you click on that section, it'll bring you right to that part of the text. Now, the most important part of the application is the way that it handles highlighting and annotating. Simply pick the section that you want to highlight and annotate, hold your finger or stylus on that part, you'll see the classic magnifying glass. When you release, you can choose the section you want to highlight and then choose highlight to highlight naturally. The same thing happens for if you want to make an annotation, such as hold down here, pick the text that you want to annotate and choose add note and type in your note here. Okay, and you can see that when a note is made, a little sticky note appears on the left-hand side to graphically display that. Now, one of the nice features of Inkling is that the third icon down here on the left-hand side allows you to jump to all of your notes and highlights, and by clicking on highlights, it'll list every section that's highlighted within the text, and you can choose to jump right towards that. You can also do the same thing and go to all the notes that you've made and it lists all the text and the notes that you've made right there. The other features of this menu on the left hand side include the table of contents which we saw before, a robust search feature to go throughout the entire text, and of course some of the settings to change text size, screen brightness, etc. Now the nice part about the Inkling application is that you, if you close out of the app and go to the home screen it allows you to go back right to the section where you left off. As you can see here, it takes a while to load up when you do exit the application, but it brings you right back to the page that you left on, 10.5 <clears throat> M phase, and there you go. That's the Inkling application.